Yeah, okay, so let's take a look at some of your favorite or maybe your least favorite problems uh, from these activities, okay? So in this, uh, I just selected a few of these and we're just going to illustrate what we have to do with them, okay? So here, this is a division uh, expression. Uh, what, of course, we know what we remember is an expression ax to the p divided by bx to the q means a divided by b x to the p minus q. That's the rule, okay? Um, of course, that implies that you have the same base, in this case, the base x, which we do not. So we have to change this. So certainly 16 and 4 can be written on a common base, and I think that's what we need to do. All right, so, uh, so this top expression, 16, is otherwise known as 4 squared. And now that is subsequently raised to the root 2 power over 4 divided by the root 2. I mean, to the root 2 power. Now, of course, in this example here, we multiply powers inside and out, and we get 4 to the 2 root 2 power divided by 4 to the root 2 power. As, as we said in the beginning, you keep the base, which is 4, and you subtract the exponents, so you get 2 root 2 minus root 2. That's root 2. So that's our expression right there. Similarly, we will approach number 16. Uh, again, 16, though, is, needs to be expressed as 2 to the 4th power, subsequently raised to the root 2 minus, is that pi? Okay. So then what we get then is that that numerator uh, is going to have to change. The, the denominator here we're going to keep as root, uh, I guess that's root 3, it looks like, root 3 plus pi. Okay, so then what do we have? Uh, the numerator becomes 2 to the 4 times root 2 minus pi power over 2 to the root 3, I keep saying root 2, root 3 it is, um, plus pi power. And again, we are to um, divide, uh, uh, in division we subtract the exponent, so we got 2. If we ex uh, distribute that 4 in the numerator expression, we got 4 root 3 minus 4 pi minus what will be root 3 uh, is that plus pi. Okay, so now we got 2 to the power 4 root 3 minus root 3, that's 3 root 3 negative 4 pi minus pi is minus 5 pi. Okay, so that's our answer. Uh, I know it doesn't look like something that you're used to seeing, but regardless, it's the answer, and that's the way it is. Okay, uh, here we have multiplication and division. All can be expressed on root 3, okay? I mean as uh, powers of 3. So 9 is 3 squared, which will uh, change that numerator power uh, to 3 to the 6 plus x, I think that's uh, 6 plus uh, 2x now, change that, okay, to the 6 plus 2x power over 3 to the 3 minus x power times 3, because we're, we're rewriting 27 as 3 cubed, so it would be 3 to the 3 minus 3x power. Okay, so here we got division. We're going to subtract the exponents. Keep the base 3, uh, and of course we got 6 minus 3 is we're going to subtract the power, so that would be 3. And we got 2x minus a negative 3x, which is uh, going to be plus, so that's going to be 3 to the 3x power, okay, times 3 to the 3 minus 3x power. And into these circumstances, we are multiplying, so we add exponents. It looks like we're going to get 3 to the 3 and the 3. That's going to give us 6 power. The 3x and the negative 3x will cancel out. We got our expression 3 to the 6, which is just fine to leave it at that. Okay, so we're going to leave that as 3 to the 6. Of course, that would be, uh, what would that be? 3 to the 6, that's uh, 
uh, three uh, to four if it's 81, 243 times three, I think that's 729, if I remember correctly. It's fine, you can leave it as uh, three to six, okay? And then um, this number 36, okay? Uh, we have the, um, I'm going to convert this all to uh, powers uh, exponents. So I'm going to have, uh, I'll leave it in the radical, the big radical. That's, here's the square root of A, which is A to the one half power, okay? Times A over, I guess it's A to the one third power, right? So now I've got to, let me simplify this. This is A to the one half. And then here we're subtracting power, so we got one minus one third power. Uh, so I guess that collapses to a to the uh, one half, and then that's a one minus one third is be three thirds minus one, so a to the two thirds power. Then we've got uh, these term which want to uh, multiply, which means we add the exponents, so we got the half power plus the two-thirds power, which, uh, again, now we have to add exponents, but the exponents are fractions, so we have to have a common denominator, which, of course, I guess would be 6. So um, so this goes to 3 6 power plus the 2 6 power. So it looks like I'm picking up, okay, let's just kind of uh, get all this. I don't know what it's doing on me now. Disappearing. Sorry about that. Okay, try to see where it went and get back to it. Okay, so then this um, ultimately what we have here now is um, uh, uh, I'm going to turn this half the square root in the half power. So I'm going to get a to the uh, what's it going to be five six power to the one-half power, which would be a to the five-twelfths power, okay? So that would be your answer for that one. That's enough with this. I'm going to uh, stop it here. We went through some of those problems on simplifying those uh, expressions, those, um, and uh, a couple up here. I'm sorry they got kind of lost in the shuffle down here, but we'll, uh, hopefully you were able to follow them, okay?